dog. <laughs> the hell, you can never get enough meatloaf, I always say. <laughs> mm, that was good. Okay. What's the matter? If I tell you the truth, Promise not to get mad? Promise. If the first little pig had built his house out of your meatloaf, he'd still be alive today. <laughs> oh, come on, guys. Oh, don't feel bad, Jessica. Once you get through that cooking class, things are bound to improve. Well, for your information, that is about to happen. We've been working on this one special meal in class for the past two weeks, and I've decided that Saturday night I'm going to have a dinner party and try it out on all of you, including Lucas and Sandy. Jessica, that's great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I'm a little nervous about it. I'd be nervous, too. Isn't there a law against experimenting on live animals? <laughs> I'm kidding. You'll do great. Oh. Oh, hi, guys. Robbie, didn't I tell you to call me if you were going to be late? Oh, yeah, sorry, Jess. Just slipped my mind. Sledge and I were into some, uh, heavy conversation with some lady friends. Sledge? Robbie's new hero. He has a car, he's 17, and he's still only a freshman. Yeah, what a guy. You know, he's so cool. You want to know what his rap to the girls is? He says... I know you're looking for a few good men. I'm it. What a guy. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'll catch you later. Hey, wait a minute. Where are you going? Oh, I'm meeting Sledge. Gonna go cruise him. Sorry, Rob. Tonight is your night to do the laundry. Oh, come on, Jess. Not tonight. Give me a break. Robbie, you agreed. You get the laundry second Wednesday of every month. Oh, cannot wait until tomorrow. No way. Besides... You're holding all the underwear I own. Terrific. Are there any other rules I've agreed to that I ought to know about? Mm, yes. Tomorrow is your day to do the shopping. Now, we don't get our delivery until Monday, and we're out of hot fudge. Oh, and be sure to stop by the butchers and pick up two pounds of flank steak. Oh, and before I forget, 
make sure you stop by the telephone company's office and drop off this check. It's overdue, and it has to be in by 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. Oh, come on, Jess. I got some plans of my own for tomorrow. Uh, well, oh, and don't forget, separate the colors from, from the, the white whites. so everything doesn't run together, okay? And have fun. <laughs> <laughs> Idea. How about if I take you and Cindy down to Casa de Corn Dog, my treat? Okay. You want us to bring you back anything, Robbie? Oh, no, thanks. I'll just eat some of the meatloaf. Night. <laughs> Bye. Oh, man. This isn't fair. In order to prepare the liquid correctly, be sure to add all to the flank steak marinate simultaneously. Otherwise, they won't have an equal opportunity to delight your taste buds. <laughs> By the way, Jess, I got your invitation for Saturday night, and I'm delighted. Me too. What are we having? Well... Uh, Jess, I have to tell you, I'm not eating anything weird like cow brains. Why not? Your brains can use all the help they could get. <laughs> We're having Tahitian teriyaki de boeuf. <laughs> oh, uh, Cindy, where did Robbie put the flank steak? Huh? He did come home with the hot fudge and the flank steak, didn't he? Well, ordinarily, I'd be a good sister and not rat on my brother. But when it's a choice between him getting in trouble and me getting in trouble, I'll rat any time. Go on. <laughs> Robbie hasn't been here yet. But I'm sure he has a good explanation. Hey, Jess, I'll take Cindy to the market and pick up your steak for you. Oh, that would be great. Thanks a lot, Lucas. Want to come along, Sandy? Lucas, I'm a trained professional lawman. I have more important things to be doing than to be picking up someone's groceries. I'm buying the donuts. Let's go. <laughs> Jess. Out shopping for clothes with Sledge. Bought some, uh, to match his new upholstery, right? <laughs> Outrageous outfit, isn't it? Didn't you forget something? No, no, this is it. Anything else would be too much. What about the hot fudge? The hot fudge you were supposed to pick up before the afternoon rush? Uh, oops, my mistake. And what about the flank steak? The flank steak? This is a disaster. Hey, alert the media. Robbie, this isn't funny. I had to send Cindy and Lucas to do your job. Hey, well, I called twice, but no one was home. Come on, Rob, don't lie to me. I was here all afternoon. Well, then there's something wrong with the phone, then. Ha! It's dead. Why do I have the feeling that I'm in quicksand up to my eyeballs? You forgot to pay the phone bill. The fee to get it reconnected is $50. That's five weeks allowance. Oh, now come on, Jess. You can't do that. How am I supposed to have any kind of a social life with no allowance? It's better than no life at all. <laughs> Rob, this is serious. Yeah, this is serious. Look, all I ever hear around here is you telling me what to do all the time. I mean, pick this up, drop this off. Yeah, I ought to turn you in for breaking the child labor laws. Well, you have been acting like a child ever since you started hanging around with sludge. Hey, that's sledge. Well, let me tell you something. I guarantee he doesn't have to do 15 different errands every day. Listen, Rob, if you want to live under this roof, you have to live by my rules. Case closed. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm sick of you picking on me, Jess. So, so maybe I'll just find some other roof to live under. Hey, Sledge, I'm telling you, my new apartment's fantastic. You couldn't want anything better. It's paradise. <laughs> Well, no, I don't have it all to myself. Hey, but my roommate's really cool. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, hey, you should stop by sometime. All right, catch you later. Bye. Oh, hey, Lucas. Morning. Had to feed the worms. They get too hungry, they start tying each other in knots. <laughs> Not a pretty sight. 
Oh, uh, sorry, Lucas. I, I don't usually throw my clothes on the floor like that. Oh, don't worry about it. Just don't dump them on top of mine. It'll screw up my filing system. <laughs> what filing system? That's the NI pile. That's the NW pile. That's the NHA pile. Needs ironing. Needs washing. Needs hauling away. <laughs> what do you got there? Oh. Oh, these. Oh, I don't usually eat this sort of thing this early in the morning. Well, they might be good for breakfast. May I? Yeah, sure, be my guest. <laughs> oh. oh, I like the color. It turns to milk. Looks like liquid earwax. Lucas? Come on up, guest. Good morning, Lucas. Morning, Jess. I wondered, could I borrow some Japanese lanterns for my dinner party tomorrow night? Sure, I got some down in the shop. I'll get them for you. Obviously, you and Lucas are the perfect couple. Well, Lucas and I just understand things that a woman can't. Like what? Well, like, for instance, see this shirt? Wore this shirt yesterday, and the day before that, and the day before that. <laughs> but today I've decided it might be time for a change. <laughs> so I think I'll wear this. Ah, this shirt slept in three nights ago. What do you think? If you're trying to get a rise out of me, Rob, it won't work. You live like a slob. Big deal. You live like a slob at home. Yeah, but at home I didn't... didn't walk on my clothes. <laughs> at home I didn't, uh... didn't eat cheese curlies for breakfast. Mmm, <laughs> delicious. Looks like liquid earwax. Yes. Oh, thanks. Lucas, doesn't this bother you at all? It sure does. Someone's been eating my cheese curlies. <laughs> Goodbye, Lucas. Good day, Robert. Jess, I'll keep an eye on him for you. Thanks, Lucas. Well, I think I'll go out in the boardwalk and pick up a sandwich. You want anything? Oh. Uh, actually, I was gonna ask you if I could borrow some money. <laughs> well, isn't that funny? <laughs> what? I was just gonna ask you for the rent. <laughs> oh, oh, actually, well, Lucas, there's been a slight interruption of my cash flow. Oh, wow. I'll tell you what. I can give you a job in the bait shop, but you ain't gonna like it. Oh, yes, I will, Lucas. I'll do anything. The squid tank. <laughs> Oh, no. Come on, Lucas. Anything but the squid tank. Yep. Hasn't had a good scraping since Eisenhower was in office. Oh, you mean the outside is really dirty. Yeah. <laughs> Not as dirty as the inside. No. After a couple of years, it kind of builds up this green film. Did I say film? No, no. It's more like green blast. <laughs> Don't worry. You can probably scrape it off with this chisel here. Oh, uh, well, Lucas, uh, how am I supposed to empty the water without killing all the squid? Empty the water? Oh, no, no, dear boy. Oh, I wouldn't ask you to do that. No, sirree. <laughs> Just put on your bathing suit and dive right in. <laughs> Hi, Robbie. Don't get too near me. You'll stain the polyester. <laughs> Took me almost 12 hours, but <laughs> I finally finished the squid tank. Oh, good. Well, I'm on my way to Jessica's party. How do I look? Hey, you look terrific. Oh, that reminds me. I gotta get dressed, too. I'm really looking forward to Sledge's party. Have you seen my white shirt anywhere? It's probably in that pile over there. I did the laundry today. All right, Lucas, thanks a lot. Uh, Lucas, 
My shirt is pink. All my clothes are pink. Yeah. Isn't that weird? That just happens sometimes. Hello. Hey, Sledge, what's happening? Oh, yeah, really psyched about the party tonight. Oh, you can't? Oh, no, hey, no problem. Hey, no, I, I got a million things to do tonight. Yeah, I'll catch you later. Was your party canceled? Yeah. Sledge's parents came home. His mother's making him stay in to clean his room. Oh, too bad. Well, I'm on my way to Jessica's. Hey, hey, Lucas, wait a sec. What about my pay for uh, cleaning the squid tank? You're right, Robbie. Well, now we're even. You don't owe me any rent this week. Huh. That's better than nothing. And now some toast. Okay. <laughs> but no toaster. <laughs> ah, ha, ha. Oh, let's see, let's see. I guess I'll try wool. <laughs> Oops, butter. Uh. Oops, oh, shoot, broke the shell. Ow! Mm. Oh. Oh. Oops, oh. Okay, let's say two minutes. Now, we'll add a few things. Okay. Let's see. Smidgen of peppers. A little bit of cheese. Smidgen. Sandworms. Worms. Oh, ow! Oh! Oh! Ah! Ouch! Uh, uh oh! Ah! 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 I would like to propose a toast to Jessica and to the most delicious, fanciest, exotic dinner I've ever eaten. Yes, here, here. Here, here. Here, here. I especially like those long orange things. What are they called? Oh. <laughs> Carrots, Sandy. <laughs> well, dessert is coming up, and you ain't seen nothing yet. Sandy, would you mind serving the gâteau for me? Oh, sure. Before or after the cake. <laughs> Robbie? Oh, hi. What happened to your fingers? Oh, oh, nothing. I just cut myself shaving. Okay. So, how are things? Great, great. Just couldn't be better. How are things with you? Oh, terrific. What made you stop by? Just felt like it. Oh, what made you decide to come outside? Oh, just felt like it, too. Yeah, in the middle of serving dessert. Okay, I admit it. I missed you. A little. Yeah, I guess I missed you, too, a little. 
Well, take care. Yeah, you too. Look, Jess. Look, I know what you want me to say. Oh? Yeah. Oh, Jessica, I'm so sorry I stormed out of here. Uh, I don't appreciate you sometimes. Next time I'll try to remember your feelings. You know, something like that. Not bad. And I know what you want me to say. Oh? Yeah. Probably something like, Oh, Robbie, I know I'm sometimes too hard on you. I didn't ask for the job of being a mother as well as a sister. It just happened, and I'm doing the best I can. Not bad. Rob, do you suppose it would be possible to make up without saying any of that stuff? Mm, okay, I got an idea. On the count of three, we'll say I'm sorry together. Okay. Okay? One. One. Two, three. three. I'm, I'm sorry. Hungry. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> uh, how wonderful it is to be eating dinner in the bosom of my family. You know, I never really appreciated how great it is to be home. Jessica, this recipe sounds delicious. Calamari fra diablo. Oh, mm, great. Jessica, what is this? We ever had before? No, but Lucas said it might be one of your favorite meals. No kidding, eh? Good old Lucas. Mm. Calamari fra diablo. Mm. Oh, squid. <laughs> Wow, Cindy, you sure get a lot of letters. Why do so many girls write to you? Well, a lot of our fans are little sisters who have geeky brothers like you. They feel sorry for me. Yeah, very funny. Hey, if any of you kids have any older sisters who uh, might feel sorry for me, have them write to us at P.O. Box 241, Beverly Hills, California. This is a place where it all got started. This is a way.
then Sergio took me in his arms and told me he couldn't live without me. Oh, Jessica. I told him it was madness, but he silenced my protest with a kiss so violent, I thought Mount Vesuvius was erupting. Right now, anything would melt in my hands. There was no turning back, and I knew that when the sun came up, I would be accompanying Sergio to Naples. The end. Oh. Why can't I find a guy like that? Face it, Jessica, there are no guys like that. What about the guy you've been dating lately? What's wrong with him? Pete? Oh, Pete's a nice guy, but he's no Sergio. Oh, Susie, I'm looking for a man that makes me go ping. Pete's a pong. <laughs> Passion in Naples? What's that all about? Oh, uh, well, it's about a, uh... It's kind of like, um... Kermit gives Miss Piggy a hot flash. Oh. Hello, Cindy, don't eat all the candy. Your sister doesn't have a date tonight, and that's her entertainment. Well, that's not my fault. I keep telling her I have a terrific guy for her. Cindy, I told you, I'm not interested in your girlfriend's father. But he's really, really cute. No offense, Cindy, but you think snorks are cute. Oh, guys, uh, what do you think? Looking good. Yeah. Hey, that must be some girl you're going out with. Oh, Jessica, Rami's not just a girl. She's, she's perfection. I don't know, she's a high fashion model and an actress. She even told me she might get into Spielberg's next movie. Oh, she'll get in. All she has to do is buy a ticket. <laughs> so where did you meet Miss Teenage America, Robbie? The public library. Uh, yeah, she was reading a book on uh, ballet, and being a ballet groupie myself, you know, we naturally struck up conversation. Come on, Rob. You don't know anything about ballet. Oh, yeah? Well, I just... <laughs> Who does that remind you of? Peter Pan. <laughs> Hello? Oh, hi, Pete. How are you? Oh, gee, I'd love to, Pete, but I'm busy tonight. Yeah, and I'm no good at playing Trivial Pursuit anyway. I never know any of the answers. Okay. Well, thanks. Bye. Jessica, why don't you go out with him? Well, Pete's a nice guy, Susie, but... I mean, and we do have fun, but his idea of an exciting date is hamburgers, playing pool, and a late movie on TV. I'm looking for Mr. Excitement. You think I'm wrong? No. But by the time he comes along, you may be too senile to recognize him. Red or black? Red, of course. But I only have time for one game before my date picks me up. Oh, Susie, where are all the real men nowadays? In beer commercials. <laughs> nah, in Italy. Oh, the men there are so romantic. If I could only afford to go to Italy, I know I'd meet a man there. Face it, Jessica, you'll never get to Italy. You're lucky if you can afford a can of SpaghettiOs. <laughs> However... The woman who wrote Passion in Naples can afford to find Passion in Naples because she's a best-selling author. Crown me. <laughs> you know, Susie, that's not a bad idea. What? SpaghettiOs? I used to get straight A's in English. Why can't I write one of those novels? Yeah. Why can't you? Yeah. Why can't you? Why can't you what? I mean, I'm not doing anything else tonight, except losing at checkers. Why don't I try and write a romantic novel instead? Jessica, that's great. I'll get the tape recorder. With all the zillions of romance novels I must have read, oh, I must have it down pat by now. Yeah, it's all formula. Sex, sex, and more sex. I'll help with the sex. Here we go. Great, okay. Oh, right, here we go. Uh, we need a title. Muppets.